Okay, so now that I've told you a little bit about Reese and the Send Pilot company, let's talk about the software. Well, I've already explained to you uh, numerous times what the software actually does, but does it do it well? Okay, so here I am in my agency dashboard, and this is where all the magic happens. Now, I'm going to launch a new campaign because every time you want to post, you launch a new campaign. So I click on Launch, New Campaign. And I can create a post from my blog, which means that my blog content is going to be taken and it's going to be reposted up to eight times. But the headline for the social media post and the call to action will change each time. So let's look at that first. Uh, let me just click on media post and let me pause this while I get an article from my website. Okay, so I found an article and it was actually about goal setting for 2018, so it's kind of relevant uh, now that we're coming to the end of 2019, or we're coming to the end of 2018. So um, here is the, the URL that I've posted and I simply click get content. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull the content of that article from my website and it's going to break it up into, um, or sorry, it's going to create eight social media posts which will link to that article. Now, what's the advantage to this? Well, I have other software, and the other software does exactly the same thing, that I can repeat post my article. But the problem with the other software is that it doesn't change the title of the actual social media post, or it doesn't change the call to action. Now, here it asks me, we've got the content, what language do we want it in? I say English, and I say build campaign. So, as I was saying, um, when you use other software, you can, you know, you write out your social media post and then you can put it on like an auto repeat every 60 to 80 days. Uh, while that is really good, the problem with that is that sometimes people will see exactly the same post and they'll get blind to it. Whereas if they see a post that has a different title, a different call to action, even a different image, if they didn't click on it the first time you post it, well, then the thing is that they would click on it possibly the second or third time. Now, the other thing I like about SendPilot is that it doesn't post automatically. Now, hold on a second, you're going to think, but surely that's what it does. No, what it actually does is it says schedule your first post and it allows you to review it before they actually post it. So you have full control here. Now, looking for tips and tricks for better business, uh, for better business life, goal setting in 2018, let's do this, okay? Uh, now, it, this is just a small thing, and I know Reese will fix this, but bring in your success every day. So what it's doing is it's changing the title, and it's also added in these hashtags. Okay, again, here's a snippet of what we just posted. Uh, bring you success, looking for tips and tricks for a better business. Uh, bring you success. Okay, so in this particular one, and again, they're working on it. Perhaps the call to actions are all the same here, that there's just been a problem. Now, what I could do is I could regenerate post and that should make that different, okay? Now, I should have mentioned tags and mentions because what I can do here, when I, when I click on tags and mentions, it will allow me to set up different tags, different, um, sorry, different hashtags, which they will then, or the software will then, randomly put those hashtags in um, each time it does a post. And I can also at mention people if I wanted. So if I was um, like a, wanted to catch the attention of some influencer or celebrity, I could do that. Now, this has uh, regenerated. Now, now, this is one thing, and as I say, I'm going to be honest in all of these reviews. This is one thing that... It may be particular to my account, but sometimes when I have regenerated the actual um, post, it comes up in a different language. Uh, it's something that, you know, I've, I've mentioned to Reese, and again, it could be just my account. It could be um, the, it could be just something that uh, I've done wrong there. Now, you'll see that each post is scheduled for a different time. Now, as I said, I have full control over this. So what I can actually do is I can go to upload. And this is one of the, for me, one of the key selling points that there's free images here. And I can just click on uh, goals. 
and I can I don't even have to click there it actually comes up as soon as I start to search and I can just go in and I can actually decide well uh, I want to put different pictures in for each month now while this is automated um, it also is very good because it um, allows you to do this uh, this review of all of your information uh, or all of the, the the information that it's going to actually post so let me just insert that and what I'm going to do now is once I've done that I'm just going to insert that and I'll leave the last one as it is so the final thing I do is I approve and schedule all posts now let me just say one thing to you you can actually use a schedule template here if you wish okay so you could actually set up a schedule of when you want this post if you only wanted uh, the post reposted six times or eight times over two weeks you could actually do that using the schedule template so I approve all templates uh, approve all schedules and it asks me am I sure and I click yes now I can do two different types of integrations I can use buffer which is really handy if I have all my social media profiles set up it'll automatically post it to those or I can connect to Twitter and LinkedIn directly um, as you see Facebook and Instagram are coming soon the reason why they're not there at the moment is because um, what happened was that the system apparently changed the API's actually changed so this now tells me that my posts have been scheduled and what I should see is that my posts will come up and I will see that I have uh, any posts that were done uh, today and then any posts that are coming up in the future okay so this is bring your career success uh, everyday goal setting that's the one I had and then later when it's later on in the year it comes up so that in itself is an excellent feature here that I can see everything here but let's just look at something else um, if I go launch new campaign this time I'm going to discover and share articles in my industry so I'm going to use exactly the same content here and what this is going to do is this is going to go out to um, various websites and create content um, that is similar to my actual article that I've posted in now that to me the technology being a, a little bit geeky the technology behind this is absolutely superb because it's going out and it's searching and it's finding relevant articles now what I do like is that since you have to review this information it means that you can ensure that the articles are relevant because I've used something similar to this and the problem was that the information that came out uh, the information that was created wasn't that good so um, at Forbes, net app voice, 90 day goals changed my life. Uh, you don't have time to achieve your big goals. Five steps to goal setting. Here's how to achieve your goals. So, th so this is absolutely perfect. Now, the only thing that I found here is um, sometimes it repeats, which is which is fine. Um, Sometimes I, I need to set up a schedule here because you'll see that it's posting on the 24th and then to its 27th and the 28th. But when you think about that technology, it's gone out, it's found articles related to that particular topic that I uh, put in of my article. And it's actually created all of these goal uh, oriented tweets. Now, the other thing that it does is it does an at mention of the actual company. Okay, influencer at the next web. I'm going to approve and schedule all posts. I'm sure I'm happy with that. It's going to go and schedule. And that's it. So what I well, what I was using here was the agency version, but this is the way it is for personal use. But let's talk about the agency version. Well, with the agency version, what you're going to get is that you can actually manage all of your clients. So if I go to back to admin here, you'll see that I have I set myself up as a client and I have another client here. Now, one of the great selling points about the agency is that you can send a link to your clients, they log in and then they set up their uh, social media profiles so that you don't even have to ask them for usernames or passwords. So that's a really good security selling point when you're selling to a client. Um, 
The other thing is, because I did ask recently, I said, but Reese, why can't clients go in and manage their own um, schedule, etc., etc.? And he said to me, well, Richard, the idea is that we're selling an agency license, not sub accounts. Because if we sell sub accounts, then people can just go in and manage everything. And then they're going to say, well, why am I paying you uh, $200 a month to actually manage my account when I can do it myself? So on the client end, it's a very much a read only that they can go in, they can look at the posts and make sure that everything's okay. And they can see how the posts are actually going. Now, what else do we have here that's of interest? Well, uh, in the agency, which I do recommend, you can do lots of branding here, okay? So this will reflect on your actual um, system and it'll just brand it with your logo, it'll brand it with your colors, etc. Now, let me just go back to manage here and back into my system and let me just finish up with a couple of things. Um, I can put in a post template. So this is like a slogan or a brand that will come up um, on my uh, posts. So, you know, changing your life, change your life with Richard Butler, and that would go onto every single template. Um, I can select my profiles here. Okay, all I have at the moment is uh, I have my Twitter. Now, again, I don't know why it just it decided not to come up there. I have my post calendar, which shows me all of the posts and when they're going to be posted, which is really handy. Um, I have my image library, which we saw before. And I can schedule my posts here. Okay, so I can send out one called Weekly Blast and I can say, okay, post one, two, uh, post one will go out on the first, post two on the second, post three on the 27th of the month, and then, uh, sorry, uh, 27 days later, post four, 30 days later, 33 days later, 51, 81, 110. So I can check all of that. Actually, that's why my uh, my posts went out the way they did there. And I could actually cancel the post. Now, one of the things is that when you actually create a post, um, if I go in here, uh, launch your campaign, and let me just discover and share articles in your industry, and I'm going to just put in some topics here. So I'm going to put in goals and I'm going to start creating. So if I don't have a blog, I can actually just put in some topics and it will automatically create that information and find that info, find related articles and then post it. So this is just loading up. I'll just uh, pause it just for one second. Okay. So as I said, I'm going to show the, 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 the good and the bad here. And for some reason, uh, my account decided to go a bit wonky and it always happens when you're doing a review, but I'm not going to cover over it. And you can see that uh, for some reason it hasn't picked up uh, the topic that I put in, which was gold. So let me just try that again, because maybe I didn't put in enough information here. So let me just launch campaign and let me put in uh, creating topics. So goals. Uh, Resolutions, um, self help, self development. Okay, and let's just see what comes up with that. So I'll start creating. I'm just going to pause this. Okay, so you'll see that this particular search that I did came out much better uh, when I when I put in more keywords. So again, as I say, I want to show you things as they happen. So it wasn't the issue with the software. As usual, they say uh, a bad tradesman blames his tools. <laughs> and that was the case here. So let's see what, they, what they've given. 10 things to do in the new year, okay. Uh, this one, there's no image there. There's no content there. Uh, there's no content. But, uh, let me see. Why not so, so have a diversity goal, 10 things. Okay, so um, this one here is not relevant, okay? Um, but the others are. Now, there, there seems to be some little challenge here that for some reason an image hasn't come up. But what I can do is I can go into image here and I could search the image. Now, as I say, there's a, there's a couple of things that I think are still... Um, just been worked out in the kinks because there should also be a button here that I can actually design my own social media graphic and that's not appearing at the moment. 
Um, so the technology behind this system is pretty amazing. The guys behind this system are pretty amazing. I do think that there are one or two kinks that need to be uh, ironed out. But I think it could be particular to my account because I don't know. I think maybe the way they, the guys set it up or maybe because uh, since I jumped in straight away, uh, maybe I'm, I'm, I just uh, it didn't get updated. I don't know what is going on. But I know Reese and Nigel will um, sort this out for me. And of course, uh, if, they, if they want to comment on this video. But what I wanted to show it is I wanted to show you, which uh, is my duty to show you the good and the bad and what doesn't work, etc. So what's my overall impression of this software? Firstly, I think it has amazing potential. Like, like a lot of the um, software that's offered on any of these um, uh, lifetime deals. Sometimes the companies are new. Sometimes they're still ironing out a few kinks. Sometimes they just uh, need some feedback. But from what I've experienced of my interactions with the guys at Send Pilot, I have to say that I know they're gonna fix everything. If there's, if there's any challenges, if your account is challenged, my account is seriously challenged <laughs> at times, but I know that they will fix. I know they're bringing out some amazing stuff because Reese has kind of just dropped a couple of hints to me. And the guys know about their technology. They know about their, their artificial intelligence. They know about their machine learning. So this is only going to get better and better. And I really do think that, you know, when they start to implement what they have uh, on their public roadmap and what they have going on in the background, this is going to be something that you're going to say, wow, this was something else. So, in conclusion, um, I'm going to say that this software is well worth investing in right now at the $49 price. Um, I'm going to put the caveat that, you know, I had one or two challenges with my account. However, to counter to counterbalance that, the guys were super responsive and super helpful to try and sort everything out. Um, like any software, the problem is that when you launch a new release of it, uh, or a new version of it, or any updates, sometimes things may um, may go wrong, or sometimes things may not work as they used to work. Now, I don't want in any way that people come away from this review thinking that the software um, has challenges. It is my account and the guys have said to me, look, it seems to have happened just on your account. Um, we're finding it very difficult to uh, to see why it's just on your account because we haven't had any other people uh, with issues. Again, who knows why it is? Maybe it's my browser settings. Maybe it's, it's something that I did wrong. Now, it is important to note that um, they do actually have a desktop version as well of the actual software. Now, I haven't downloaded I haven't even tried that. But um, I'm going to finish up now because I can talk about this for hours and hours, and we're already 18 minutes into the video. So a big thumbs up to the company and a big thumbs up for the software, and I see huge potential in this.